The Bears are still looking for a partner in crime for defensive edge Montez Sweat. Sweat, a young, proven veteran, has been a huge difference for this defense, as we saw after he was acquired. They were number one in takeaways, top 10 in sacks, and top 10 in quarterback pressures after acquiring him. And not only that, he, they did that with losing other all-pro defensive edge, Yannick Ngakwe, to an injury, unfortunately. So, the Chicago Bears do have a legitimate edge, but imagine if they had two. With having about a little over $57 million in cap after re-signing defensive back Jalen Johnson, they are ninth out of all the teams in the NFL at the moment, and that's without putting money aside for the rookies. Along with that, Chicago does have five picks at the moment, two in the first, but the rest are later rounders. So they're going to have to dip heavy into free agency in order to improve this team for the foreseen future. And one big name that is linked to Chicago that would make a massive difference is defensive edge Daniil Hunter from the Minnesota Vikings. The four-time Pro Bowler would be a huge pickup for the Chicago Bears and really make this defensive line unstoppable for the next three to four years, depending on how long they sign him for. So let's see what it would take in order to bring him to Chicago and if it's worth it. Hello, everyone. I'm going to go back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Dick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Daniel Hunter's name is still linked to the Chicago Bears from various different sources around the league that the Bears are interested in bringing in the veteran Ed rusher, which could be very exciting. Kind of reminds me of a Julius Peppers type signing. You know, he is, you know, a little older than 30, but Daniel Hunter ages like fine wine, man. This guy gets better as time goes on and his stats speak to it. I'll go into that in a second. But super excited if this is true and if he does come to Chicago. And before I begin today's show, if you'd be happy with the Chicago Bears bringing in Daniil Hunter in free agency for the right price, please hit that like button on this video to show your support along with commenting your thoughts on bringing Hunter in or potentially another edge that you'd want to bring in from free agency. So we're walking into free agency with let's just be safe about $43.5 million because we put $14 million aside for our rookies that we're bringing in. And that still is enough money to bring in defensive edge Daniil Hunter. The 30-year-old four-time Pro Bowler has been with the Minnesota Vikings since 2015, an NFC North rival. And he actually came in second at one point in defensive player of the year voting back in 2019. 30 years old, 6'5", 260 pounds, but this dude is built like a Greek god. I would need to know what his workout is, his diet is, because he is a monster of a man and a fantastic athlete, as we've seen. And at age 29, he had a career year with the Vikings last year. 17 games, 83 total tackles, 16 and a half sacks, 23 tackles for loss, 22 quarterback hits, four forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries. Pair that with Sweat's stats, and you will have one of the best edge duos in the NFL. I don't know any offensive line could actually even block both of them, one of them, if not both of them. That would be absolutely insane. So why bringing him? One, obviously, because he's been linked to the Chicago Bears all offseason so far, and with free agency coming, they haven't placed a tag on him. They haven't done anything to try to keep him in Minnesota. They're in cap hell right now and likely not to bring him back. Uh, he also knows the NFC North. He knows these offensive tackles that he's going to play multiple times a year, six times total throughout the year. Six of your games, if you know your opponent every single time, you have a good chance of knowing how to beat them, which is pretty awesome. So that's why I would also like to bring him in, but also a mentor edge if we end up taking one, if we trade back that number one overall pick or we trade back number nine and get a young edge rusher, which this draft is actually stocked with them. He could be a good mentor for him, along with being a mentor to Sweat, and then overall the, the pairing would just be unstoppable for years to come. His projected contract right now, though, three years, $78 million, $26 million a season. That's a big yikes. For a guy at his age, there is that risk of injury. He hasn't been an injury-prone guy, but hey, after 30, things could change for him and, you know, obviously not go in the direction we want it to go into but overall that literally gives us you know not much money left in fact it gives us 17.7 million left you know we're gonna get maybe a couple mid players just debt pieces at that point but still we only have five picks at the moment so it's a big risk it's a win now move for the chicago bears but i don't mind it overall some players truly do beat the test of time and daniel hunter could be one of those again like i mentioned earlier like a julius peppers but we'll see what happens with this team i'm excited that he's linked to chicago you know in a couple days we could he could be a chicago bear so stay tuned for that i think we can get cheaper options to perform close to what they have or develop him eric washington is one fantastic defensive line development coach 
and potentially for much younger. So comment below if you want Hunter or not. Let's see what everyone's thinking. I know a lot of people would be for it, but for the right price. So I want to hear what you guys are thinking. But with that, thank you as always for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year of Chicago. My name is Dick Rody, and as always, bear down, baby.